finally backstage at Point Fest 2016. My good friends in one day. Fellas, welcome to Point Thank Fest. Thank you. It's awesome to be here. It's Thank been you, a long, friend. long time waiting for this band. How long now? Ten years. Ten years, and you finally made it. We made it. Started in May of 06, 2016, May, we're here. Glad to be here. How, how does it feel for a band like that? I mean, you guys, you, you've been there, you've done it, you've seen it, you've been disgusted with it. What does it feel like now? You know what I'm saying? Like, the it, music is a roller coaster ride. Being in a band is horribly uh, a roller coaster ride. Three words, never give up. Yep. Never give up and just keep pushing. We don't... Uh, don't see a lot of bands out there that we started with, but uh, we made it this long, and we're loving every minute of it. So, plans for one day after Point Fest? Are there anything on the books? Uh, we got a couple shows in line right now. Uh, we do have uh, June 25th at the Firebird. I believe that's the date with Inimical Drive and uh, System Slave. You know, we get, that's a Children's Miracle Network show right there, and we always support those. We're more of a giving band than receiving band at this point, but that's what we're about, you know. So, as far as, like, a record goes, are you guys working on new material? We are working on some new songs. We have actually, we're going to be playing a lot of new songs tonight and revealing them to some of our fans. Uh, but, yeah, we are going to try to get into a studio sometime September, you know, November, at latest, maybe. New album's coming. Now, I've seen you guys for many years. Now, when do you just go, you know what, I don't know if I want to do it anymore. Is that even a thought? Never. Never One day we will reach our plateau. That's yeah. the whole purpose behind our band name and what we are. One day we will get there. When the arthritis kicks in, I might stop. Like when I can't move my fingers anymore, we might quit then. Then, then you call it, call it quit. <laughs> They can roll me out in a wheelchair right. and I'll play in front of 10 people when I'm 85. Now, do you feel like you guys had to take a moment to, like, you know what, find, refine yourself as a band? Is oh, it definitely, one of those yeah. Oh, absolutely. Everybody has to come together, and we all have to uh, get the tensions out that may arise and just regroup and, and get mental about things and just write, you know, sometimes less is more, and we've accepted that, and we're just going with what we do now. It just comes out of us. We don't really, you know, sit on paper and write music. We just, it comes out. Now, out of the 10 years that I've known you guys, at least 10 years, where did one day come from? I never even asked that question. Uh, actually, man, I thought of one day in 2001 whenever I got it tattooed on my arm. And uh, we were originally like a little cover band, but I found that writing my own music and lyrics was much more satisfying than trying to become someone else. So I don't want to be a copycat. I just want to be the person that actually is an influence instead of following influences. Now, do you find it hard being around the scene for 10 years to maybe regroup the old audience that used to come out? Do, do you find it uh, that you had to go find new people? When you played, we played 86 shows one year. 86, 86 yeah. every weekend, sometimes two shows in a day. We burned a lot of people out and learned a hard lesson that way, you know, and it took a lot of smart advice to get us to, you know, we kind of adapted and matured through the years. Yeah, we this have, man we, right here is our original bass player from the beginning of one day. Yeah. We awesome. have our hardcore fans that always come out, but it's trying to reach out to those new people, you know, writing new music and not burning them out on the same old stuff all the time. So, you know, we, we just try to make sure that everybody's at a nice comfort level. If there was one piece of advice that you'd give a brand new local band just starting out, maybe they're uh, searching visionary media going, man, I gotta check out these video. Yeah. What would that piece of information you would pass along? Don't give up, stick to your yeah. dreams, play from your heart. Just and work, and work hard, man. You know, this, this isn't easy. This doesn't come easy to any of us. You play in a band, I mean, we played in for, forever now. You gotta work your butt off at it. It's just a cycle of life. Yeah. Music is a cycle in life. and. You're either in the cycle or you're out there enjoying the cycle. Well, cool. I don't want to take up any more of your time because I know it's a beautiful day for a rock show. Point Fest 2016. Again, thank you to Visionary Media for putting together a little tent for us to do backstage yeah. interviews. Those guys are doing great things for the scene, uh, shooting videos. So if you're in a band, you want a video shot, you can hit them up on the uh, interwebs. I don't know the precise internet site. You know what? You do. Get on over here, Dustin. Come over here. Here, well, say, well, if I'm looking for you on the internet, where am I going? We're going to uh, wearevisionarymedia.com. That's where we're going. So if you're going there, get on it now. See you soon.